Alright guys, in the previous video, we have set up our Firestore database. We have created our products collection and we have also created some document. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to fetch this document data. So we got an introduction to our starter code. We want to render our product information on our web page. For that, we need to go to the components directory, then go to the products.jsx file. And here we have a use effect hook, which will only run after the component will be mounted. And we have an if function, an asynchronous one, because we have to handle asynchronous logic. So I will delete this console log for now. We need to import the DB instance that we have created, which is inside the Firebase directory, then inside the config.js file. We have to import this DB instance. So let's import that import db from dot dot slash firebase slash config and we need to import two function from firebase firestore we need to import two function collection another one is get docs First, we need to get a reference to our products collection. So const call ref for collection reference. We need to call the collection method. And we need to pass two argument. First one is the DB instance. And second one will be the collection name, which is products. Now let's call the get docs method, which will return us some snapshots. So const snapshots. wait because it is asynchronous so get docs and we need to pass the collection reference so let's see what is this snapshots we have this object printed out but where is our data our data is inside this docs property which is an array and if I expand this array we have an array of object, but we still don't see the data because we have to call a doc method from this object. So let's create a variable const docs and let's get the snapshots, then docs, which is an array and we have to map over them. Doc will be the first parameter and we have to call the data method from this doc object. So doc dot data this data method will return us the actual document data and our docs variable will be an array of documents so let's console log the docs and we have an array of objects printed out this time we have the actual document data if i expand one of these we have the name price and total property but we don't have the document id we also want the document id to have the document id in this object we have to manually add them so i'm going to add curly braces here because i want to add multi-line let's store the data in a variable and let's include the id inside the data object so data.id will be doc.id the id is inside this doc and finally we will return data and again we have an array printed out this time we have the id and now we can render our document data on our web page we just need to set our product state with our document data so let's call the set docs method sorry set products method and let's pass the docs here i will close the console and here is our data printed out the product names are actually linked if i click on this it will take me to the product page and if i show you the full url the url is slash product slash the document id and this route is a dynamic route because after this slash product path this document id will not be static it will be dynamic because 
different products has different document IDs. So if I go to the pages directory, we have a product directory. I didn't show you in the previous video. I forgot that. So inside the product directory, we have another file. We have a product id.jsx file, but the file name is surrounded by square brackets. That means it's a dynamic route. It's not a static route. If I open this up, this page is also simple. We have this product data state, which is empty for now. And we have the input state for form. And we have imported this use router hook from next router to get the product ID from the URL. And we will use this product ID to fetch data from the database. Then we have just destructured the product data from the state and we have just rendered them. And finally we have the form like our home page. Okay, so let's see how we can get a single document. So inside this use effect hook, I'm going to add another if you function. The first parenthesis is for the function definition and the second pair of parenthesis is for calling that function. So let's pass an async function. So inside this async function, we have to add our logic, but when we will first load the page, this product ID will be undefined. If that is undefined, we don't want to do anything. We want to return false. So if product ID is not present, if it is undefined, we want to return false. Else we want to fetch the data. But before that, we need to import few functions from Firebase Firestore. So we need this doc function for creating a document reference, get doc for getting a single document, and we will need this set doc method and on snapshot method later. So let's import that db instance. So import db from dot dot slash dot dot slash firebase slash config. And let's create a document reference const doc ref and let's call the doc method we need to pass the db instance then we have to give the full path to our document so first it will be products the collection name then we need to give our product id this will be interpreted as our document path it will be interpreted as slash product slash the product id now we need to get the document snapshot so const doc snap await because it will be asynchronous and let's call the get doc method and pass the document reference like before it will not give you the actual data it will give you the snapshot before we get the actual data from the snapshot we need to check if the document really exists or not so we need to add the condition here if doc snap dot exist it has an exist method if it's true we want to get the actual data so const data will be doc snap dot data and then we will set our state this set product data we need to call this set product data so set product data will be data else we just want to console log no data so let's see if it works or not oops it should not be exist it should be exist plural and you can see it has worked we have the product name its price and the total amount so let's go to the home page again now let's see different product and now we have different product name okay so this is how you can fetch a lot of documents from a collection and also this is how you can fetch a single document from a collection so in the next video we're gonna learn how to create document in our Firestore database. 
So if the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.